Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall once again. And today I want to talk about a subject that has become closer and closer to my heart as time has gone on. And that is playing what you like. Now, this may seem like a sort of silly statement, but, you know, there's a lot of talking heads on the internet that tell you what things are good, what armies are good, what units are good, what battalions are good, etc. And the thing that I really believe in strongly is that you should play the things that you like first. Like, that should be your priority. And there's a few reasons for that. If you like something, you're going to enjoy playing it more. Rather than just playing with a good list, you're going to just have the thing you like. You're automatically going to have more fun. That, I think, is really key in all of this. The second thing is, is that I truly believe you're going to play better with things that you like as opposed to playing with a list that's just good. I have fallen into this trap many times myself. Um, I would say at most GTs I have gone to, I have fallen into this trap. You know, I am... A person that definitely has pet units and pet armies and I have certain things that I like to play with and then it comes time for a GT and I'm like okay uh spikiest list that I can come up with and let's go and it's just not what I'm comfortable with the things that you like create this comfort zone for yourself and in so many times in so many aspects of life, people tell you, oh, you got to get out of your comfort zone. You got to do something that's better. You, you can't just sit around and be comfortable all the time. But we play Age of Sigmar to have fun. You want to be comfortable when you're having fun. <laughs> I don't know how to put it other than that. So I was originally going to do a bigger, more elaborate video. I had sent messages out to a whole bunch of other content creators to try and collaborate a little bit and crowdsource some ideas, um, as well as some other people that are outside of the content creator community about uh, pet units. You know, what things you play with that are not necessarily good, but you feel like they add value for you and you like how they play. And with that, you also find uses for these things. You might have a unit that's suboptimal, but you find the best use for that unit, and that automatically levels it up. It might not necessarily be the best thing, but you're squeezing everything you can out of that suboptimal choice. So, just some examples I can throw out there. Um, in Cities of C Sigmar, Steam tanks, um, specifically the steam tank with commander, it's a hero, you can give it artifacts, you can make it really durable. It's a really great little mobile anvil piece. It's a single model, It so it's kind of maneuverable. You can get it into places and really muck up what your opponent is doing. You can simply throw it in front of it, an enemy unit and say you have to fight through this before you get to the other stuff back there that you really want to get into combat with. Plus, it it does attack. Like, it has attack profiles. Like, it's going to do some damage. It's not going to do a ton of damage, but it's, it's present. It's in the game. Um, and now in 3rd edition, it can heal with heroic recovery. It can... Uh, have its finest hour, it can go all out defense and go to a two up save. Um, these are just some examples uh, of why, you know, a, a steam tank can be useful in a list. If you just like steam tanks, and I'm a person that likes steam tanks, I've been really disappointed in steam tanks ever since the launch of Age of Sigmar. And they're finally, finally a piece that I'm willing to put in a list despite just liking them, they're finally to a point where I feel like I can make a little Johnny combo and, like, have this thing be useful. Um, 
other example for myself, like I love Puskwale Blight Lords. For a long time, I was running lists with four Puskwales in them. And, you know, I've been on like a painting spree of getting more of those painted up. And I happened to have eight of them painted up. And I said to myself, let's try a list with two units of four. And it went awesome. And I had fun. And they did what I wanted them to do. And I'm learning more and more over time how to play with them, how they can be a great anvil unit if that's what you're looking for. Or you can stack a bunch of buffs on them and, you know, have it be a strong hammer unit. It It's versatile and it's fast. You can, you know, buff it up with the Lord of Afflictions and launch it halfway across the board. So... A lot of things like that. I really encourage people to play with their pet units. Play with those war scrolls that just speak to you. Rather than playing war scrolls that somebody else told you are good. Or even that you're telling yourself are good. You don't necessarily have to play the optimal list all the time. And many great players don't play optimal lists and I think we have a tendency to be okay with playing a suboptimal army you know there's certain armies that we could call better than others and people just love that army and they're going to make the best of it that they can but they're not willing to it seems to take a you know, mid-tier to good army and just play with some subpar war scrolls out of that. You know, tonight I'm going to go have uh, a game tonight and I'm playing Nurgle. I'm bringing eight Puskoils and um, a great unclean one with sword and flail. Now, usually a great unclean one with a sword and flail flail just doesn't get played unless you're playing like thrice fold befoulement. But if you give him flaming weapon and a sloppy bile pipers behind him and he gives himself his own command ability, suddenly his you're throwing five attacks at Ren 2 damage four with his sword. And that's kind of cool. Um you know, big stompy monsters are fun, so I'm just gonna go play with a big stompy monster. And I know I'm gonna be playing against my buddy Dez, who's been on the channel plenty of times, um, we both sort of set the parameters ahead of time for this game that we're just playing with fun experimental crap. And that's what I'm doing. Going with the fun experimental crap. Um, this is how I really encourage people to play Age of Sigmar. To get out there and just have fun. Experiment. Try different things. You don't have to be trying to spike a GT with every list you build. It can just be for fun. You can just take the things that you like and mash them together in a list. And you know, by some repetition of playing those things, you're going to find which things you like better than others and find combinations that work for you. And you're going to find some hidden gems in armies. There are things that are just sort of hidden in there, like maybe a Chaos Chariot out of Slaves to Darkness. Like, if these things have uses, and I think there's a lot of War Scrolls out there that have purpose to them, and people just sort of gloss over them. And I encourage you to go out there and look for the things that are cool, and just follow the rule of cool. Play the cool stuff. So... That's all I really got for now, guys. I will talk to you all later.